We have now gone 12 games without defeat, and it is difficult to know why we are doing so well, given the quality that we have in the squad. But what I do know is that the low block combined with a cautious mentality does seem to be slightly overpowered in FM23. Let's go and see what happened in October. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to Elgin City. And if you are brand new, why not subscribe, like, watch and comment, help the channel to grow and help us to support all that good stuff that you can see scrolling above. And it has been a very, very good start to the season. And we are currently on top of the league. We have played 12, 28 points, and we are currently three points ahead of Sterling Albion and 10 points ahead of Bonnie Rig Rose, who we are going to be playing today. I do wonder why we are doing so well at the moment, and I do think it might have something to do with the low block and the cautious mentality, which are working very well together and seem to be slightly overpowered in FM23. But we'll take that because it has given us this very, very good start to the season. But before moving on, let's go and have a look at what's been happening through October. Let's go to Match of the Month. And so, let's have a look at what else has happened on the pitch during the month of October. Well, we started off October with that 1-1 draw that you saw last episode. Very, very poor result against Anan Athletic. But then we beat Stranra by a single goal to nil, and it was a very, very tense affair. But, as you can see, we absolutely dominated proceedings. Even though we were playing a low block on a cautious mentality, we still were creating a lot more chances than the opposition and we had 20 shots to four, nine of which were on target. Our XG was way in advance of Stranra's and we deserved to win and Dingwell got the goal in the eighth minute. We failed to capitalize on that early lead but it was a very resounding victory. And then we had a home game against Forfa Athletic and again the story is much the same. Playing that low block we absolutely dominated the match, both in terms of possession and in terms of shots and shots on target. Our XG, although not as good as four far, it was good enough to give us a victory of three goals to one. Goals by Draper, McCarty and Hester made sure of an easy victory. And then in the Scottish Cup second round, we had a very, very good 2-1 away victory at Formatin, and that has put us in the next round, which will be against Queen's Park. And I think that that probably means that our cup run will come to an end. And then against East Fife, it was a very, very tough game. Uh, we dominated the game again. We were very, very unfortunate. Our XG was far superior. And even though they had a man sent off just after half time, we could not break them down. And I tried so many different ways 
to break them down. But unfortunately, at this level, you're not going to score all the time. And it turned out to be a very tame nil-nil draw, and we didn't function very well at all. And so that brings us to November, and today we will be playing against Bonnie Rig Rose, a team that we know very, very well, and a team that we struggled against last time, because we played in a very positive manner, and we were unable to break them down. But hopefully today our plan will mean that we can take the three points when we go away to Bonnie Rig Rose. And in terms of the squad, we are still playing way above our level and we have 12 players still who are on average ratings of 7 or above and this is absolutely phenomenal for the quality of player that we have in the squad. And one of the standout performers of course is Kane Hester. He has been throughout the season so far and he has 19 appearances, 16 goals and 1 assist. And behind him in the goals tally is Russell Dingwall and he has five goals and one assist. Henderson, the young lad, who is struggling to get appearances because of the form of the other two, he still has four goals and four assists. One of the most interesting ones is Jordan Critchley, who is the young lad that we brought in in the summer transfer window. He is developing very, very nicely in his early months at Elgin and we're hoping for more improvement for him. He has forced himself into the first team. He has seven appearances, two goals and one assist and an average rating of 7.22. He has done very, very well in the early days at Elgin. But in terms of the squad, we have been dealt a rather nasty blow. And if we go to our squad planner at left back, we had good cover there but unfortunately Wraith Rovers have decided that Craig Young uh, cannot continue on his loan with us they want him to go somewhere else for some reason I don't know why he's been playing every week he's been performing very very well he's developing very very nicely in the first nine or so weeks that we've had him and I cannot see for the life of me why they won't extend his loan but they have refused to extend his loan and that gives us a bit of a problem now Nicholson, who also is on loan, will have to take over the top spot. And we do have young Matthew Henderson, who probably will need to be played at some point during the second half of the season. We cannot find players to fill the role, and those that we have been able to source are either far too expensive for us, or the board will just not pay the, the wages that they are demanding. And so I'm guessing that we're going to be left with two fullbacks and that is going to leave us in a bit of a spot come the second half of the season. But I'm hoping that Lewis Nicholson will step up to the mark and will fulfill the promise that he has. He's also a lad that is developing very, very well. He's just 18 years old and it might be time to say to him, go and show us what you can do, lad. And hopefully he will come up with the goods and do a very, very fine job. And so that brings us to today's game, Bonnie Rig Rose. We do know that they will play with a slightly cautious mentality and they will park the bus. They will be very difficult to break down. They are in third place, 10 points behind us. It would be good to get a win here today to keep our momentum going. And we do have a plan this time. We're gonna play the low block this time. We're gonna play cautiously, try to draw them out and then try to exploit the space behind them on the counter attack. And hopefully this time we're going to get the result against this inferior Bonnie Rig Rose team. And so, without much further fuss, I think it's time to go and play the game. Let's go and kick some balls. And so, the team for today is Hoban in goal with Gilhooli, Leddy, Anderson and Young at the back, Draper, Notley, Critchley and Thomas in midfield, and Hester and Dingwell will play up front. And I'd really like to think that we can, this time, beat Bonnie Rigrose. We are playing with a very cautious mentality, and we are going to play the low block this time. And we are doing well, so let's keep that going, lads, shall we? And I have faith in you. Go out there, make me proud, make the difference, and let's get on with the game. And let's see if this time we cannot beat Bonnie Rigrose 
and bring home the three points. We are struggling against teams who are inferior to us and we are doing well against teams that are better than us. And so it's about time we turn that around. And I think, though, this may be the time when that gets turned around and the players are just waiting to kick off. And this is a very, very long interlude, but the game has begun and it is a fairly even start at the moment, but we are dominating the possession and we are pretty much in control of the game at the moment. We are not actually creating anything brilliant. Our XG is pretty low and um, we do have a throw in the corner though. And that's into the box, but cleared by Bonnie Rig Rose. And there's that long ball. And here come Bonnie Rig Rose. They do have players in space in the box. And there is Smith. And that is a chance. And he heads it wide of the goal. We do have to be very, very careful. They will park the bus and look to break. And although we are dominating the game, Bonnie Rig... And is that a penalty? That looks like a penalty to me. What has the referee given... He's given a penalty and we can go in front here. It's been a while since we had a penalty. We've done well in penalty shootouts. Now, can we put this away? It is Hester. Hester puts it into the corner. It is 1-0 to Elgin. And are we going to get a result today when normally all we get is a 1-1 draw or a 2-2 draw when we play live? It would be really nice to get a result today. And it's further testament to this low block which does seem to be working very very well in fm23 and we are a goal up and doing very very well we're certainly in control of the game and we are marginally better in terms of chance creation and we are a goal up and here is anderson anderson with a free kick looking over the top for hester hester's in space and hester from an almost impossible angle has made it 2-0. It's Bonnie Rig Rose 0, Elgin City 2. How did Hester squeeze that in at the near post? It looked like all that was available to him was to get a cross into the box, but that was absolutely, absolutely sublime. And we are 2-0 up coming up to half-time. What a, a tactic this is. This low block is well overpowered. We are dominating the match we're ahead on the scoreboard we're doing very very well let's keep it going there is a highlight coming from the kickoff which is always a worry but we do have the ball and here is Leddy Leddy finds Thomas Thomas is looking for Leddy Leddy with the ball long ball forward Hester heads it on but it's going to come through to the Bonnie Rig Rose goalkeeper and we've managed to intercept and we're building again from the back. Thomas. Thomas finds Hester. Hester to Dingwell. Dingwell to Thomas. And he's put Notley in. Notley must score. He's hit the post. That would have put the game to bed. It remains 2-0. But boy, we are looking dangerous at the moment. We have upped the tempo a little bit today. We are playing with a higher tempo. And that seems to be working. And although Bonnie Rig Rose do have a goal kick. And we have intercepted, and here is Thomas. Thomas, who's having a very good season. And he looks for Gilhooly. Gilhooly, can he find support? Gilhooly's going down the wing, and he's, he's looking inside for support. Here is Thomas. Thomas with a drive, and that has gone just over the crossbar. It remains 2-0, and we are dominating the game. Possession-wise, we have the possession. Our chances are being taken and we're doing very, very well. It remains 2-0, and we should be comfortably winning this, and we're going to make some changes now. And so we have made a couple of changes, bring some fresh legs onto the pitch, and hopefully we can see this game out now. What I might do in a few minutes is go to, onto a defensive mentality just to close this game off, and maybe lower the lines a little bit so that it stops them getting looking for that ball over the top. But we have won the ball in midfield. Hester finds Cameron. Cameron all the way back to Young. Young looking for support. He finds Thomas. Thomas for Draper. Draper over the top. And that is going nowhere. But there's a loose header. And we almost got onto the end of that. But it remains 2-0. 15 minutes or so are left. 
And I think it is time to think about closing up the game now. And here is McCarty. McCarty's looking down the line. Stainrod is looking to get into the penalty area. He has done, and Hester has made it 3-0. And it is now time, I think, to close the shop and to make sure we take home the three points. And Stainrod took advantage of a very, very poor piece of defending by Bonnie Rigbros there. Found Hester in space, and Hester just puts it away as he normally does. He is in such inspired form this season. What an absolutely fantastic player. And after this highlight, I think what we will do is we will... We will make some more changes and then we will shut the shop down and just make sure that they don't get one on the counter-attack because they will come at us now, I'm pretty sure. And we just need to defend now quite resolutely. We've won the ball again in midfield. I'm going to tell Draper to ease off the tackles. And here we have Stainrod. Stainrod getting into the box again. He's looking inside for Hester. And has Hester been fouled? He has been fouled. We have another penalty. And can Hester make it 4-0? Hester steps up and makes it 4-0. And that is Hester's hat-trick today. <laughs> and his 20th goal of the season. What a remarkable player he is turning out to be. He is absolutely in the form of his life, although two penalties today, but he has dispatched them with aplomb. And it is Bonnie Rig Rose nil, Elgin City 4. I'm not going to make any changes now. We're just going to continue playing this. They're not going to score four times in the last 15 minutes, and or the last 10 minutes even, as Anderson, Anderson is looking into space but there is nobody there it was a pretty poor pass as brett brett as bonnie rigrose looked to bring it out from the back there's a long ball but we have that covered and mccarty just needs to do nothing silly and he humps it up the field which is a good ploy at the moment and wins the header in the air he finds critchley critchley finds thomas here's critchley critchley looking for St stanrod and here is cameron cameron in space he should have scored <laughs> and we remains 4-0, but we'll take this. We're not too unhappy. We're going to make another couple of changes here. Gil Hooley is tired, so we're going to bring on... I think we're going to bring on Cairns, and it also looks like uh, Draper is very tired. So what we will do is we will bring on Patterson, but then we will actually um, go and change around Patterson for Thomas and Thomas is a better player in the defensive midfield position and so we just need to hang on now it's Bonnie Rig Rose nil Elgin City four and we have finally won a game live and this has made me feel a lot lot better and there's just a couple of minutes left we just need to hold on be tight at the back and we will have won this game comfortably. But are Bonnie Rig Rose going to have the last word? Are they going to get a consolation as they look to get it down the right-hand side? And they have scored. <laughs> and it, Although I knew it was coming, but I'm not too worried. It's Bonnie Rig Rose 1, Elgin City 4. And it is just a consolation. We've won this match very, very comfortably. But I did have a sense that was going to happen. And it just does tell me that perhaps you do need to think about closing the game down towards the end of the match. If you don't do it, they will get one back or two back. And that's it. That's full time. And we have won the game quite comfortably. And that's the first game we've won live for a long, long time. And it was a very, very good result, which should hopefully have consolidated our position at the top. It has. We are now 12 points clear of Stran Ra in third. And it really looks like it's developing into a battle between Elgin City and Sterling Albion for the title. And we've done very, very well. And so looking at the fixtures coming up, we're, we're going to skip a little bit here because there are only two fixtures in November and we will then come back in December. And I think what we might do is come back for the Sterling Albion game um, on the 24th of December. It looks like that would be a big fixture 
and so that looks like the fixture to come back for. And that's it for this episode. If you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe, like, watch, comment, help us to grow, and help us to support all that good stuff that you can see scrolling above. And so, from a very, very happy Elgin City, where our form is absolutely outstanding and we remain unbeaten for such a long time. We are very, very happy at the moment. We need to make sure that this doesn't change. We're happy playing this low block on a cautious mentality. It's working very, very nicely. And so all that remains to be said now is we will see you in the next episode.